I had I had shoulder straps. I don't know. I know you recall the wreck yeah. between uh, Richard Petty and uh, Phil Bartow was involved in it, like in maybe '87, '88 at Daytona Day- 500. Daytona, yeah, yeah down yeah. the front straightaway, right. and Richard's yeah. car kept going yeah. down. Yeah. Phil Bartow had shoulder straps on that tied hooked to your helmets. He had them on because again, Arca made their drivers wear them. Arca made their drivers wear like a horse collar. And them shoulder straps. It went under your shoulder and strapped to your helmet. Okay. Phil never got hurt. And I recall Ricky Rudd's accident, how bad black and blue his eyes were for so long. And Phil Bartdahl had a, you know, that was a bad accident. He didn't get bruised up. His neck wasn't sore. His eyes weren't black and blue. He had them shoulder straps on. We were preparing that car for him in our shop for Helen Ray. And... I remember them shoulder straps. Ever since that wreck that day, I started using them shoulder straps on my myself. So that's what I had. Okay. And if you will look at my bad, bad Pocono wreck, I had them shoulder straps on, or I'd have got killed that day for sure. You just look at that wreck once. That car hits that wall so hard, so fast. Brett Bodine hit me and spun me in the wall uh-huh. going into tunnel turn. And... It hits the wall so hard it can't go through it or turn sideways. It it slid straight up the wall. When it got above the wall, it started spinning. And that's what I was wearing was those straps. And I didn't have no no black and blue yeah. marks and no sore eyes. I was sore. My crew came and picked me up that night from the hospital in Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania, and I drove the van home so they could get some sleep to work on the race car when we got home. <laughs> 